Hey hey, it's Linford SK here and I'm back after quite a bit of a break with a completely new and something I've really been looking forward to since I ordered it. Um, I'm very underprepared today because I had a lot of trouble with the um, delivery men and oh, they were useless and they delivered it to the wrong house and I had to get it re-delivered all today. So, right, so what I've got today, before I go on too much, is... And I just need to check the actual name of it. Is a Dutch military issue box 24 hour combat ration. So I don't know much about this. I ordered three things this week. I'll just quickly show you what else I've ordered. I've ordered, I've got to do, these will be coming up soon. It's another uh, MCW, my first ever MCW, Mill Cold Weather American Seafood Chowder. So that'll come up this week hopefully. And another Dutch, this I'm really looking forward to, is Menu A. And this is a LAV Lansoen, which apparently is quite hard to get here, and it's a um, officer's meal, or um, officers and generals Dutch meal, so yeah, so I'm really looking forward to doing them, but for today, I've got see you notice, I've got no good equipment with me today, I've really underprepared, but I thought, ah, screw it, I'll do it anyway, this is a Dutch 24 hour ration pack, I'll put the, I got them from surplus and outdoors.com, I'll put the link in the description, um, yeah, so, I have no idea, but I've, I've, hopefully I've got enough equipment and water and stuff like that. Because I have no idea what's in this. I have nothing, no clue about it. It was £15 at the UK. £15 Great British Pounds. So, it wasn't too bad. It was about the same price as a MRE here. A little bit more expensive. But if it's 24 hour, it should have a lot more in it. Um... Yeah, I'll put a link to the place. The place is a really seems a really cool little shop. A lot of military supplies and survival gear and stuff like that, and reasonably priced as well. Like I got the MCW for twelve pound ninety nine and the officers pack for twenty pound as well. So yeah, um, I'm gonna keep this to the side for now and go through this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Actually, it looks so cool and it's different. I've never done it before. I've only done standard MREs before and. A German and a French and a British, so yeah. Um, let's start then. So first things first is a pack of Packers crackers, Volkerin. So they look like crack, just standard crackers. I don't know what's um, any English writing on them. No, I can show you that if you can read it. It's a bit blurry, isn't it? Yeah, that's not yet. No chance. Um, there's a lot in these. Three packs of four or four packs of three. It just says three times four, so stocks which I um, think might be sticks or pieces or something like that so um, ingredients sesame I think it looks like sesame or sesame z glucose so interesting so let me just quickly open this box and have a look at it this is definitely a 24 hour pack yeah it's, oh Jesus there's four in that um, no smell there in the bag so I <laughs> don't know why I tried to smell that and there's three bags of four so yeah this is a lot of stuff in this, so I'll leave it to the side there. I've got everything behind me today, so uh, these must be the meals. I'm going to try and get things done. Um, I actually don't know what the meals are either. I didn't actually really check. As I said, I'm very under-prepared. This is Hatchy Met Parisi Ardapalan. Again, I apologise for my accents, I'm not, or my pronunciations. Uh, 26, April 2016 is the date on it, so... It's got a couple of years till it goes out. What's in this? Water. Uh, I couldn't even guess at some of these words. There's not even something. Main course item. Oh, there's a little bit of English on it. It doesn't say what it is. It just says what to do with it. And sorry, my bird was asleep when I started this. So uh, remove pouch. If required, place pouch in boiling water for seven to eight minutes. Uh, so I may just do this cold, or I don't know. I mean. I'm gonna, I think I'll try and hold. And she met Paris other Palan. Oh, actually, that's the same thing. So it looks like maybe two of the same mill, but they're big. They are 400 grams. They're really heavy. So I'll put them to the side here. Let's see what else is in there. Uh, a little bag, and then it's just a box of matches. Sakahets Panda Stickor, made in Sweden. Manufactured in Sweden, these ones, so pack of matches, that's cool. Uh, pack of Mentos gum, chewing gum, a whole pack. That's 12 pieces. That's pretty awesome. Breeze, mint, breeze. I do like Mentos, and 
I think they're American, aren't they? I don't know, maybe. These are definitely from another. From one of them other countries. Right, what's this? Ah. Oh. Limonade. Ah, oh, I assume this is just lemonade powder, I'm hoping. Lemon lemonade powder. A on 250 ml water. Sport energy. Yeah, so this is like a lemonade. That'd be interesting. I'll try that. I've got a couple of cups for me. Uh, mint gaza. That's strawberry jam, it looks like, from the picture. Oh, I keep trying to show you things. But I'm not doing a very good job of it. Jam. Oh, this is a lot of stuff in here. Let's see what else is here. Um, vegetarian sandwich spread. Okay. Um, any idea what's in it? Legume, so I don't know what that is. Um, Grand Tepate. Mr. M, this is. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. Alright, what are these? Tubes of coffee. Um, creamer. Oh, there's two coffees and a creamer. I assume there'll be more in the box. It looks like there's a lot more in here. So there's two coffees and a creamer there. Uh, jam, again, it looks like. And this one looks like it's cherry. Cherry jam. Oh wow, there's so much in there. Pepdex energy tablets. Looks like two packs of them. Dextrose tablets. Fruit dextrose tablets. Oh, I definitely got my money's worth here. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff. Ah, Ardennes pate. So that's like um, Brussels or the Brussels pate is what we call it here. It's like liver pate um, or something. I believe. Or should be. Um, Simcas Bison. That looks confusing. Kind of looks like, from the picture, it looks like it might be cheese. Some sort of cheese bread, but it's tiny. Smaller than the jam, so that should be interesting. Um, cacao stick, so that's a uh, cocoa. I assume. Cocoa hot chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Um, a Cylon tea made by Pickwick. I like Cylon tea. Uh, pack tissues, full pack tissues, like in the. British packs. Um, oh, what's this? Peanut butter. It says it on English. A little cup of peanut butter. So, I like their spreads here. I'm not going to run out. And in here is sugar. Four packs of sugar. I'll leave the bag closed for now. Oh, brilliant. I think, I believe it was, I can't remember if it was Gundog or Thingy. I had one recently and they were talking about what should be in an MRE. And this was it. It's a toothpick, a little toothpick, which is perfect. Um, and then also in here, oh, there's a couple actually. Yeah, two toothpicks. Or whatever you want to use them for. Uh, salt, sachet of salts, two sachets of salt, and four sticks of sugar. And also, a Per Noir bar of chocolate. It looks like Belgium, it's got a little Belgian flag on it. So, oh, nice. I've got so much stuff here, I don't know where to put stuff now. It's starting to run out of space. Um, I don't know why I'm not using the tray. I just thought I'd use it for the food afterwards. Right, I'll put all that there. Uh, what's that? Oh, there's another creamer. So I said there'll be another creamer. So that's two coffees and two creamers. Uh, another tea bag. Cylon tea bag. Right. A Stroop Waffle Jetty. Little waffle, it feels like. Little hard waffle. Caramel waffle, possibly. That you get in the coffee shops. Um, two of them. Uh, what's this? Drink Boulon. I believe Boulon is beef. So I think this might be a beef stock or a beef drink of some sort. So I'll try that out. And a Rundfeller's Drink Boulon. So it's another sort of beef stock, maybe. Stock drink. And another hot chocolate, cocoa. And another little cheese spread so yeah as you can see it's a lot of stuff here oh one more thing actually uh mentos another pack of menta mentos or mentos whatever you want to call it drop mentos drop so i don't know if that's a flavor or it's a very dark packet so yeah oh wow i don't know where to start here i have got some cups and water and everything ready so um where should i start let's start let's go be backwards and start with the meals I've got a little plate, a bowl here. Let's try out some of these meals. I'm going to try one of them and keep one because I believe they're the same thing. 
I'm not 100% sure, but the right is exactly the same one, so let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to try it cold as usual because, as I said, I'm very underprepared. If, if you know from any of my videos bef before this one, I'm bad. I don't edit. Oh, smell is interesting. Oh, yes, this definitely can do with heating, but that's the way it goes. I'm only going to take a little bit out so I can heat the rest of it afterwards. Uh, get this out of the way now. Right, so it doesn't look massively appetizing to be honest, but it, it is cold, so it's probably my fault. Um, what is it? That's a good question. It smells like a stew, so I'm assuming it's a beef stew of some sort. Right, so let's have a try this and see that. It looks like big chunks of potatoes in, which probably would be a liquid gravy if it was heated up. Um, possibly some peppers in here. Let's have a try this. Oh yeah, that's potatoes and, and some sort of beef. Looks like there's little chunks of beef in it. Let's try this bit with a bit of meat. Hmm. It's actually nice. It's really nice. Definitely be better heated. So I have big chunks of potato. Um, I attempt to read this, see if there's anything on it that I can recognise the name of. Again, let's look at this. Um, no, not much. There's not actually anything I can recognise the name of. So if anyone wants to look it up and tell me what that thing is, let's try. Oh, there's a bigger bit of meat. So yeah, uh -huh. oh, it looks appetizing, doesn't it? <laughs> it don't look. Like I said, it's kind of a, a fatty and gloopy sauce thing there, which would probably be a really nice heat in it, probably liquidize down into gravy. So I expect that would be a lot better. So is there anything else? No, I'm not too sure. So I'll move that to the side anyway. And um, <coughs> oh, I'll drop the chocolate. I will try not the chocolate. I'll wait. I'll try one of these crackers. They look interesting. A big box of crackers. I guess I can try all my um, sauces on them. Let me open this bag. You see, I've got a whole lot of stuff here. So, oh, there's all the might see like, all the sesame seeds cracked in the corner. These have been broke all in one place the same way. Oh, so someone, this was obviously snapped at some point. Right, let's get this down. Let's, actually, I'm going to try a little bit of this um, potato and gravy. Give a bit of it. Oh, let me try a bit on its own first. So this is the cracker. It's like a sesame seed cracker. Looks quite healthy. Looks like that. It's quite pleasant. It's like the um, Ravita crisp bread. It tastes um, tastes healthy. So I put a bit of potato on it. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I keep on them cheeses aside. So what else have we got here? I'll try some of this. Ben's pate. Back now, isn't it? Yep, there you go. That's our Ben's pate. It looks exactly as I expected it to. Just pate, pate, pate in it. So I get a nice big chunk of that on there. Um, I haven't got a knife with me, so. Yeah, it's spreadable, it's soft, it's... Mm -hmm. So let's try that.
my food. It's nice. I'm a fan of patty in general. Patty on a bit of bread or whatever. It's really nice. So that's them. Um, my quantity alone in this um, ration pack is really impressive. It is a 24 hour one, so. I know if I was more professional, like Kiwi Dude or Gun Dog or Shitty Salts or someone like that, I'd probably uh, try and split it up into how they would do it during the day, but I'm not too sure if you could do it three ways. This would probably be a two way thing a lunch and a evening meal. So I'll just open this one up. This is the vegetarian spread. It smells nice. Peppers and it's a lot more liquidy than the patty. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. It is. In Britain, we get something called sandwich spread, and it looks slightly different to this. It's a lighter colour and it's got a lot of red in it, but it tastes very similar. This. I couldn't tell you what was in this. Kind of has like a thing going on of um, tuna, maybe. Like I know it says sandwich, so I assume it's not, but. It's got a taste of sort of like tuna when you mix it up with mayonnaise and peppers in there and Yeah, it's interesting. Definitely interesting. I really like you keep seeing me leaning over my well, it looks like my reflection. <laughs> it looks a bit like an alien popping in or something. So, um What next? I'll get my coffee, I've got a cup here. And I'm gonna only try one of these soups. I'm gonna try one of these soups. I'll try. There's two different soups. I'm gonna try the this one looks vegetables and I'll try this one that looks more interesting. They do have some of the same writing and stuff, so they may be similar, so uh, so let's look at this and get this into here. Is it a food on? Uh, stock, I assume, like a beef stock. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm just going to add water to it. Hot water to it. <coughs> right, so what am I doing now? Right, water, hot water. So I've got a kettle down on the floor next to me. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that. A little bit of hot water. I'm going to add a little bit of cold water as well just to, so I don't have to wait because I'm not a professional. I don't edit my videos or dump cut, I'm not very good and things like that. So I am just a one shot and hope for the best guy. So yeah, this is a stock, like a beef stock. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It's kind of reminds me of uh, it's like bovril, but not quite as strong as bovril. I'm gonna try a little bit, tiny bit onto this potatoes, just to add on my tray, constitute it up a bit, like because it actually this is like a beef, so it makes it like a bit of a soup. And it's I try a bit of that. Look, it's a bit more appetizing than that. Looks more like a it broke apart and stuff so yeah let me try this a couple of bits less yeah that's good makes it more of a soup and it's nice again I definitely think this would be a lot nicer with a lot more heat in it so yeah so what I'll do is I'll dip a bit of my cracker in this because everyone likes a bit of bread and soup. Hmm. Don't do much for it really. It, it softens it a bit, but it still needs I think this 
missing a bit of flavour. So yeah. But it's okay. It's not bad. Look at my messy tray here. Alright, still got this bit of cracker, so let me break this up because I've got some jams. No, I've just broke into those a little bit. <laughs> um, let's go for this. Cheese, I think it is. Give that a smell. Yeah, it's liquid cheese. I'm going to just dip this in, probably. Oh, yeah, actually quite solid inside there. I hope it's cheese. It looks like cheese. Yeah. Um, cheese spread, not dissimilar to. Um, I think it was a French ration that had a cheese like this. Yeah, it's not bad. It is not bad at all. Um, I like it. It's not amazing. It's not incredibly flavorful. I'm quite. Yeah, that's. I don't know how to explain it really, but yeah, alright, I'll move on anyway. It's okay, it's good. I'm being too critical, I think, of thinking it's only, it is only just ration food, so. Right, this is peanut butter. It's quite funny because this is a tiny little tub. Oh, wrong way. And it's only actually half full, so. Oh wow. Mm, it smells it's very hard, it's not really it'd be spreadable but it's not in the sense of the squeezy peanut butter you get in the MREs. Um tastes fine. Tastes like peanut butter. Kinderfass, peanut butter, so yeah, that's fine. Um, get these out of the way. Right, have well, a look there then. I've got my sugars there. Um, I'm just have a bit more of these things because these are pretty dry, even with the toppings. A bit more of my beef stock, which is actually really good. I think I could have done with uh, making this whole cup of it because it's actually really strong but I like it like that mm. yeah so we've got to move on I'll start with these jams let's try out these jams on these okay. it's impressive they've really gone for their like sides and well not sides on because that little snacks and mints and stuff like that They're really not scrimped out on this but it's quite finicky, everything's in little packets, you know what I mean? It's not, don't seem very, that it'd be easy to, if you're out and about. I, I don't know, as I said, I don't really know much about these rations, so I don't know if they're ones that would be eaten on the go. Or It does say to cook the things in boiling water, so it's not got a flameless ration here. So this is the cherry jam. Really nice, really sweet. Um, I find these a bit too savoury for the jams. These suit more for the pate and the sandwich spread. I think a sweeter alternative would have been nice. Like some. Aha, but I have just realised. I'll try that in a second. So this is the strawberry jam. I'll try a bit on there. I love strawberry jam in general, so. Yeah, and that does not disappoint. My tray is a mess. Ah, that's good. Strawberry jam. What more can you say? Um, right, I'm going to try... Drink. Only one cold drink in this. For the big pack, I expected more, to be honest. This doesn't actually have a cut or anything on it. Or a side. Oh, actually. And the light does. I was lying. So this is lemonade. I'm going to try and get it open. The cut didn't work very well. 
It smells of lemonade. It smells nice, strong. Uh, you see that? It's really yellow powder. I'm not measuring my water or anything, so I don't know. Clearly, doing it. And I've got a bottle of water, and I'm going to say fill this about halfway, so about half a pint. So. Not even that, I'm going to do less than that to be honest. Um, we'll clean this spoon, we'll get the one, I've got loads of these plastic spoons. That shows a tall glass which is really hard to stir if you've got big hands. So, I've got a tool in my actually. I'm going to stir it with this. There you go. That's fine. Uh, I'll try this now. Lemonade. It's quite yellow. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. It's lemonade. It's no fizz to me. No fizz to it or anything. It's like a. Tastes like one of the energy drinks, like the standard sports drinks you usually get in uh, old MREs. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the teas or coffees. You all know what tea and coffee tastes like by now. I'm going to try one of these. So this will be nice dipped in the tea. And I, this is a Stroop waffle tea, which is like a waffle, basically a little caramel waffle. You sell these in the coffee shops and stuff like that. Yeah, they're good. They're so nice. I love these things. The cinnamon. Um, you can't see it, but it has like caramel in the middle, so it's quite um, chewy. And they're really nice. And yeah, you get two of them, so one early and one later in the day, or maybe have them both at night in the evening with a cocoa. It'll be nice. Um, or a coffee if you prefer coffee in the evening. Um, yeah, that's, that's good, it's impressive. Alright, I think I'm just going to grab one quick glass from next to me. And I think I'll try one of these cocos. So I've got a little glass here. Um, cacao stick. I assume these are just made on water, so this is full. Smells nice, smells like cocoa. I'm going to make it with hot water as well, again, properly. Should be cold enough now that I don't need to add cold water. This is the cocoa, hot chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Drinking chocolate. So, yeah. Cheers. Uh, probably. I don't have sugar in tea or coffee or anything usually, but there's actually little taste to this, so I'll probably add a couple of sugars to it and see if that perks it up a bit. Uh, Try and think of what's missing from this. There wasn't a um, heater, as I mentioned, there wasn't a, any way to cook the field meals. It does say on them just to use boiling water, so makes me think it's not really out on the go one unless they do carry water with them I assume so um, I've got two coffees and two creamers here I may try them afterwards quickly there's a pack of matches so yeah you could if you're lighting a fire or whatever I guess that comes in there wasn't a um, there's the tissues there wasn't a spoon there wasn't any cutlery with this one uh, these are my own spoons, these white ones, so I should have mentioned that probably earlier. So, and there wasn't a beverage bag. There's a couple of little bags, but there wasn't a beverage bag for the lemonade, so you could just add it to your own bottle. Or yeah, that sugar helped that. Definitely, definitely lack of real taste to it. So, we've got sugars there. I'm not going to do the coffee or tea. But yeah, it's a, a bonus for the... Um, a bonus having the um, old toothpicks 
they're useful and I've, I've, and I've heard people mentioning that they should definitely have them coming useful if you're out and about just finishing my cold drink oh yeah but it's good overall it's a pretty good little thing I've got a couple more things to show you before we go first I'll have one of these Mentos chewing gum it's quite bright green they're smaller than the I believe they're smaller than these packet Mentos that you usually get, Mentos. Um, these are the chewing gum ones, so they're not the mint. Oh, they're like they're nice. They're really strong. If you like people like the extra strong like mints or gum, they're for you. I like the taste of them. That's um. Like strong toothpaste, very strong toothpaste taste. Breeze mint, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'm also gonna go for one of these standard. These are the Mentos mints, I believe. I don't recognise the colour the pack or anything. I don't know. It says drop, but has a flavour, I guess. Oh yeah, there you go. That's they just standard white Mentos. Let's see if they are. Well, oh, I'm gonna wait. Let me have a little drop of this because the taste of that last gum is really strong. Mm. So yeah, here we go. Cheers. Ah, uh, this is, I should have guessed from the start, I believe it's licorice, as I don't like licorice at all. Oh yeah, it is, and it's actually got English on the side of it. Um, chewy mint licorice flavoured sweets. Um, yeah, I do not like. Oh, sorry, it's all stuck in my teeth and I don't like licorice. They're okay, they're not horrible, they're only... Um, it's not an overly powerful taste like the other chewing gum had, but I'm not a big fan of the taste. I don't like licorice in general. Um, yeah, I definitely have to have a bit of this now again. It's very hard to chew and get out of your mouth. It's um it splits up in your mouth into tiny little pieces. Oh right so I'm gonna quickly bring this back in my meal because I'm gonna put some salt into it. I'm gonna try a bit of salt in it, I put a sachet of salt in it and see if it boosts it at all. It's gonna taste funny after all the gum and stuff like that, so so I'll take a couple of these bits of potato out of this and Yeah, it would. I think not much more to improve it apart from heating it up. I'll just put a whole sachet of salt in for a tiniest little bit of meal, meat, so, or a little bit of food, so. <laughs> That's very salty. <laughs> but yeah, the salt would help when it was hot. Um, I'm going for a pex deck. Uh, pex decks. Which is a uh, energy dextrose. I get the Lucasade dextrose tablets, which are pretty nice. Um, little white sweet. <clears throat> oh no! You just in your mouth for a second, and they turn to powder almost, and goes very quickly. <laughs> yeah, not bad. They're nice. Yeah. I guess they'll perk you up during the day. Hmm. Got a nice little flavour to them. They don't last very long. They go very quickly, so you get all this stuff out of the way. And that's it, I think. Oh, no, last but not least. Oh, chocolate. So, yeah, this is pretty dark chocolate. It's just broke a little bit. A whole bar. So it says actually on the packet 3x4. So it's actually got the how many cubes we've got again. 
three rows of four, so yeah, they like to tell you. But it's a good bar chocolate. I'd take this away a bit broken off, so let's try this out. It's really good. Now you might know I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, but it's not too strong. It's I can't really see the percentage. I should have probably done this first. Actually, the writing is gold on blue, and it's really faint. I can barely read it, so I probably can read that anyway without glasses. So yeah, that's it. That's the chocolate, and that is the. Just get the name of it again quickly. It's on my computer, and it is uh, all I've got is ration pack Dutch military issue boxed 24 hour combat. And what I'll do quickly while I'm thinking is I'll quickly go on the website which is surplusandoutdoors.com. It's a British site. I do not know if they do overseas deliveries, so if you're watching from America or New Zealand or anywhere like that. So this was £14.99 as well. Quick have a look. Um, it says it's a regular 24 hour combat ration pack um, boxed in a cardboard box which was the big box it was in apart from two, two packets whatever that means um, oh actually what it was is these two packets it says actually they're designed pockets do not fit in the boxes they are designed to fit in a webbing pouch for easy use that's quite interesting even though mine did actually come in the box all come in one box so it said made for the dutch military and this ration pack is nato approved uh, a breakfast and lunch it says biscuits a meat spread a cheese spread yeah and a tuna spread oh so that vegetable thing was a tuna spread so i was right about that jelly which i assume means the jam which is the jams um, biscuits would be the crackers which were okay ish uh, that's it, cheese spread, yeah, two little packs of cheese spread. The beverages come in the pack can all be made up with hot or cold water. There's enough for two cups of chocolate, so yeah, I made one, and there was another one still in there. A one energy drink, two cups of tea, and two cups of beef stock, so they are just both beef stock, just different packages, I guess. Uh, four packs of sugar, two packs of whitener, Mentos, sweets, and gums. Um, it also says on here, make, it may include boiled sweets, nuts and raisin mix, etc. All good snacks, so... I didn't get anything like that, but I got nice sweets and stuff, so I'm not disappointed. I got the gum and the mints and the bar chocolate and uh, main course. Does it say what the main course is? No, it don't actually say what the main course is here. It says it's 400 grams. And this also says, of course, if you want to eat it, the best before is March 2013, but it's still tasty. <laughs> but mine wasn't March 2013, unless the whole pack was, but most of my things had 16 on them the outside, so they must have been a newer bundle. And it says it can be eaten cold, so yeah, it's all good. Um, I'll definitely link up, and my bird is on a rampage because someone just come in my door downstairs. Uh, I'll be finishing that, definitely. I may have to stew for dinner another day. And yeah, as I showed you, coming up, we have a meal cold weather my first ever one and the other Dutch one which is a military pack so it's nice to, it'd be good to see the a military pack the same as this but it was uh, officers apparently so it'd be good to see the differences see if there's similarities differences and everything I'm with Desk K I once again I apologize for the lack of editing and good equipment and good everything really I've done this in a rush I had a bit of a rush day and it's come up to Christmas now so everyone's busy and I'm gonna try and squeeze the other two videos in but I can't promise there'll be better quality than this so thanks for watching I'll, I'll link as usual to the website to a couple of other guys who do awesome reviews uh, I recommend checking them out because their reviews are a lot better than mine they really edit their videos and put time into them and I do care about my videos but I'm not good with the whole editing and being thingy so yeah thanks for watching I'm Liverdesk this was a ration pack review and tasting and goodbye